Embase is a really helpful database for medical research with really strong coverage in areas including drugs, pharmaceutical science and medical devices. This means that it can be really helpful for subjects like engineering and chemistry, as well as for medicine and health. It has a lot of advanced technical features for searching, but this video will focus on some of the key ways of working with the database. First, searching with subject headings. Embase uses a set of subject headings called Mtree, which are similar to the medical subject headings used by Medline and other databases. When you enter a search word on the advanced search page on Embase, there's a tick box pre-selected for map term to subject heading. When you search, you'll then be presented with a list of subjects which you may be interested in. My search for the word glaucoma here has found 16 different subject headings. If you're not sure which one you want, you can use the scope button to read a definition. If you select the explode option, Embase will also search for any narrower words or headings which sit underneath the one that you've selected. This is what I've done with my search for glaucoma. You can search more than one heading if you wish as well. You will also get the option to search as a keyword, which will pick up articles which mention the word in the title or abstract, but which have not been assigned to that category. This will find more articles, but they may not be as closely related to your topic. Using subject headings allows you to select subheadings. In the case of glaucoma, for instance, you can focus your search to areas including complications, diagnosis or drug therapy. I've opted to find only those articles relating to the side effects subheading. If there are multiple components to your topic, you can do an additional search for these and then combine your searches together. I've done a search for prostaglandin analogues using the subject heading prostaglandin derivative. If I combine this with my previous search, this will mean that I find articles on the specific topic of the potential side effects of using this type of drug for glaucoma patients. To combine your searches together, use the search history at the top of the screen, select the searches you want, and then click and to combine them. You can now look through the list of your results to read the abstracts of the articles. And when you find something useful, click the full text finder link to run a search to discover whether or not the university library has got access to that journal. Second, the multi-field search. If you are used to using what we call Boolean operators, and, or, and not, you may be more comfortable using the multi-field search. This option gives you multiple search boxes. You can enter words into each one. Here, I've done a search for the same topic. In the first box, I have the word glaucoma. In the second box, I have words for side effects. And in the third box, I have words for prostaglandin analogues. In the boxes where there are multiple words for the same thing, these are separated by the word OR in capital letters, which is a signal to Embase that I don't mind which of these words or phrases it finds. Side effects or adverse effects or adverse reactions are all equally helpful for me in this case. This search is faster, but will be less specific than a search using the subject headings. Third, using limits. Both the advanced search with the subject headings and the multi-field search have the option of showing limits, which allow you to predefine criteria for the articles which will be found by your search. Some of the initial ones include the publication date and narrowing the search to research carried out with human subjects or written in English. Once you've done a search, you will also be able to use the additional limits button. This will open up a much wider range of options, including age groups. You can select some of these limits and apply them to your existing searches. And finally, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are many advanced ways that you can use Embase. If you want to learn more about these, take a look at the help section built in on the database. And of course, you can talk to your librarian about using Embase or any other database in your research.